So here's how to make a birch bark cone, traditional moose call with a birch tree. So what we found is we found a nice white birch and you want ones that there isn't a lot of blemishes on the skin because if there's too many knots and stuff, you're gonna get a lot of pit holes in your cone. So what we've done is I've taken the tip of my knife and I've scarred it. You don't wanna go super deep, like you don't wanna use a saw and do this. You're just trying to go through that first like 16th to eighth of an inch on the tree. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna split all the way around all the way around and then you make a groove down then you take the tip of your knife and you just put it underneath the bark and uh, you're just going to peel that right off all the way up and this actually doesn't hurt the tree if you go too deep that's where you end up wrecking the tree but it, as long as you're not going below the actual bark it, the tree will be just fine so you get this all started and you try not to bust it up too much and pull that up so we basically got around and peeled most of it we're just doing the last part and you got to watch for these knots because what ends up happening is it ends up sticking on the back like that and you just got to take your knife and you got to peel that off or else you're going to have your uh, stuff stuck. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of pulling out and back at the same time. And just like that, we've got a beautiful piece of bird. I'm just going to cut a V on it. Just scarring this here so I can not have quite so much overlap. Now this is better built for making a complete cone. Just like that. You can either turn it that way or the other way and then you gotta have just something to tie it off. Some guys will stitch them up with different things. Some guys will put stuff in there, but that's kind of basically how we go about skinning a tree and uh, making a traditional moose cone cone.